Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm in Newport Beach, California, aboard a new listing that we just brought into our Newport Beach office. This is a 2014 Cruisers Yachts 48 Cantias. I think you're going to really like her, especially if you have a family or you need to sleep quite a few people. This is a great boat that fits in that 50 foot range, but does quite a bit. Let's go ahead and check her out. Okay, here she is. This is a 2014 Cruisers Yachts 48 Cantias. Up until 2018, this boat lived on a large lake in Oklahoma in fresh water before being purchased and transported here to California. She's got some good shine on her. Here at the stern, we have our absolutely massive high-low swim platform. So you have a remote control for this and also a wired remote, which allows you to lower this down into the water and launch and retrieve your tender. The swim platform also has an integrated dive ladder just here in the corner. As we step on a board, we have storage all the way across the back. It's accessed on either side through these small doors. There's also a button you can press and this whole seating area clamshells open for easy access into that storage area. Stepping up into the cockpit, we have a very large cockpit. We have this nice seating area here. This table will go down, a cushion goes across the top of it and that will fill in for a nice day bed. All the speakers throughout the boat have been updated with JL Audio and Fusion speakers. Port side, we have a Kenyan electric barbecue and a nice Vitrofrigo refrigerator freezer down below. Across the way, we have an ice maker. And so we just have a really nice cockpit here, plenty of room to hang out. It's at an elevated position, so you can see what's going on. I think it's a very nice cockpit all in all. Moving forward, here's our bridge deck. As we move on in, we have a wet bar situation here that flows really nicely out onto your cockpit. Your television would come up from just here and the countertop. Plenty of storage down below. You have bottle and glass storage here. Here we have our KVH satellite television receiver. Across the way, we have a nice countertop for serving. Centrex inverter for Catalina. Here's the updated Fusion head unit. So this is the latest, really nice head unit. You can run it uh, from your phone with Bluetooth, um, or also you can run it from the various remotes throughout the boat. Here's your air conditioning. And as you can see, I've folded this door away. It's a stainless steel door, very sturdy, and it folds away over to one side and gives you this great opening out onto your cockpit. Here's our seating area, port hand side. It's very comfortable. You have plenty of armrests for everyone. We have this beautifully finished table and this will go ahead and fold up on either end to give you easier access. One really nice feature here is we have this angled lounger. So you can have your armrests down, your feet up and just be hanging out. You're high enough up to where you're going to have a beautiful view even when the boat's on plane. Across the way we have our helm. We have two Raymarine screens here of different vintages. This one would have been the original. When the boat came here in 2018, they added another sque screen uh, to the port hand side and a quantum radar up top. All of your switches are easy to read, easy to operate. Here's your Volvo Penta display for your gauges, but your engine information is also displayed on your Raymarine screen as well. Here we have a Raymarine autopilot, Volvo smart throttles, Here's your joystick for docking, trim tabs, and then you have your ignitions just here. Our helm seat is a very comfortable dual wide helm seat. It has an armrest, thigh rise bolster, and it can go forward and back. One thing I notice, it has a little wear here on the end. This isn't the end of the world. We can order the new skins or just have it recovered, but just something to note here. So this is a great entertaining deck, a great place to ride. You have two little opening windows in the corners on either side, and then you have this massive sunroof that opens up to about midway here. Uh, you have sunshades all the way around that just pull down. These are ocean airs. And then as you can see, you have one that covers the whole glass roof that we have above us. Let's go ahead and move down into our salon and galley. As we come on down, you'll notice we have tons of natural light. That's because this deck is open to the windshield above. We also have very tall ceilings. I'm six foot five and I have uh, probably a foot and a half above me. Here on our starboard side, we have an L-shaped settee. There's a table that clicks into this socket here. 
Right now it's removed and stored. Uh, you would do that when you want to fold out the flex steel bed. It'll come out to right about here and just make a massive, very long bed here in this area. Plenty of storage above your settee. You've got some nice countertops with storage below. Here we have our air conditioning, stereo remote, 110 outlet. Here's the boat's panel. One nice feature, as soon as you open it, the light comes on, even when the battery switches are off. This is our DC side. We have our generator start, fresh water monitor, and tank monitor for the head. Here's your 240-120 side of the panel. So it's at a good height, well lit, well labeled, and easy to read. Across the way, we have our LG television above our Vitrofigo refrigerator freezer. Here's your Cuisinart microwave convection oven. And look at this galley. Look at all that storage above, storage below. This is a great boat for a family. Here's our day head. We have vanity storage up above. It's very well appointed. Plenty of countertop space. I like the design of the sink, how it looks like it's sinking into the countertop. More storage below. And then a push button head from Dometic. So all in all, this is a great area to hang out. I like the serviceability and the style of the flooring. And just really all the storage. I love how open an area it fills down here. I'm not always a huge fan of a galley down, but they really make it work on this boat. Let's go ahead and check out our VIP stateroom. So we have a very nice queen size bed with three drawers of storage underneath. Carpet all looks to be in good shape. Starboard side, we have a cedar lined hanging locker. Here we have some light switches, a 110 outlet, AC and heater vent, three storage compartments across the top. And on either side, you have these nice windows you can look out while you're in bed. Up above, we have a port hatch, and it has a sunshade and also a screen. The port side of the VIP stateroom mirrors the starboard side, but on this side, we also have climate control television, and right behind here we have our DVD player. Here's our port side hanging locker, and again, it's very similar to the one on the starboard side. Now, if we go ahead and close this up, and close the cabin door as well, we can then gain access to the ensuite shower. Here's our ensuite shower. Very nice size, and headroom I would say up to seven feet. We also have a door onto our day head. So really, if you just lock this door here, you have a full ensuite head. Moving back into our master stateroom as we first step in, we have a washer dryer combo just here. Cedar hanging locker. Here's your vanity. Have your master head sink with plenty of drawers and storage down below. What a great area. Here's our head. Full shower, fully enclosed. And then we have storage cabinets just here on the port side. So really a good space. Headroom, uh, again, at least seven feet in here. Alright, look at this. Full beam master right on the center line. Very nice. We have storage, television, AC controls, an access panel for the electronics here just at the foot of the bed. Again, the carpet in here looks to be brand new. It looks really nice. Here's another hanging locker. And then we have storage all along the starboard side here as we move back to our climate controls. Actually, this is auxiliary heat is what this is. More light switches and plenty of storage. We have shades that come down over these windows and it's just so cool to be able to lay in bed and look out. So all in all, a beautiful master stateroom, really good headroom. Even standing at the foot of the bed, you only lose your headroom when you step up these steps here. All right, heading back up, I noticed that our stairs Need a little refinishing, nothing too crazy, but something that could be given some attention. Let's 
go ahead and head on up to our bow. We've got great railing the whole way forward, nice handrails. Here you can see the vent window I have open. These really do work well. All right, so great walkways all the way forward. We have our sun pad here, the backrest flip up and everyone gets a cup holder. Here's our windless anchor. It has foot controls here. It can also be controlled from the helm and that's a stainless steel anchor, really sturdy um, and looks to be in good condition. Looking back on the boat, you can see just how large and impressive she is and definitely one if you're in the market to check out. We have a little tuning up to do. I mean, you can see the windshield wipers aren't exactly in the correct angle that they should be in. We need to do a little cleaning, but for the price, being in an LLC with a few little tweaks, this is gonna make someone a great boat. Here's your remote spotlight. We'll go ahead and head back down the port side. You can see your quantum radar, that's the latest from Ray Marine, and your Intellion satellite TV. All right, now for the engine room. All right, I'm down in the engine room. Aft of your engines and inboard, we have our Kohler 15 kW generator. You can see your pod drives here. This is the port side, it's in excellent shape. Glenn Denny cable master, water heater, batteries. Here's your port side IPS 600 engine, and again, that appears to be in very good shape. I like how everything's very easily labeled, so it's really easy to find. Everything here is labeled. And we have breakers here, two battery chargers. Here's your, it looks like a 3000 watt inverter. Here's your fuel tank. And here's our starboard IPS 600 engine. Again, everything looks very good. I think that has to do with it uh, not having been in salt water. Here's a chiller for your air conditioning. Automatic fire suppression. We've got a generator battery here. Here's all of your hydraulics for your swim platform. And then here's our starboard side IPS pod. All in all, lots of space and a very nice engine room. Okay, well that's gonna wrap up our tour of this 2014 Cruisers Yachts 48 Cantius. If you'd like more information about this boat or need help buying or selling a boat in the Southern California area, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can reach me at 949-438-0055 or you can email me at ben at silverseasyachts.com. Please hit that subscribe button and also if you hit the little bell icon, you'll know whenever I come out with a new video. Thanks and we'll see you on the water.